which is nice and thick now. It's got the consistency of, say, yogurt. Put a little bit of salt and pepper, and the last thing that that wants is a little bit of nutmeg. That gives it kind of its distinctive flavor. Not too much. Nutmeg goes a long way. All right, there we go. Give that a stir. Move that out of my way. Okay, so now back to those endives. We've got some deli ham, and each endive is going to get like its own little jacket of ham. It's going to get wrapped up, and then it's going to go inside the dish with our bechamel sauce and our gruyere cheese. It's going to be bubbly. Okay, so this is our last endive. Now we're ready to start putting this gratin together and get it in the oven. So we're going to take this bechamel sauce. We're going to put a little bit on the bottom of our pan. Just a little bit. This is like a little bit. Spread it around. It's good. And then we're going to lay those ham-wrapped endives right on top. What's cool about this as a brunch dish, as you can see, it's, you know, it's a pretty hearty dish. You've got your vegetable and you've got your protein, you've got meat, all there in one shot. And when you put on this really nice bechamel sauce and then cover it with the Gruyere cheese, that's when it starts to get really homey and comforting. That's why I call this French comfort food. This actually is a recipe that came from my husband's grandmother. And he says that whenever she talks about endive, she always reminds everybody that she, she lived through the Paris occupation, that endive was one of those things that you could have growing down in the cellar in the wintertime so that you would have fresh vegetables. So she made a lot of endive, and this is one of her famous dishes. And I have to say, my mother-in-law makes this the best. Okay, so Gruyere cheese, big mess. Into the oven, same oven, 375 degrees, right there on top of the tart. This is going to go for about 15, 20 minutes just until it gets heated through. The cheese starts to melt. Got a little bit of clean up here. And then we're going to get started on making the vinaigrette for our salad. Now our salad today, you know, we're kind of working with sort of these wintry vegetables. Pull this off. We're working with these wintry vegetables. So we use the endive, something that you would find really easily in the winter, um, and mushrooms instead of using lettuce. So we're going to make a nice vinaigrette to go with that. And it's going to be really garlicky and herby. So we're going to start with some garlic. Give that a smash. And I'm going to take a shortcut today. Now, you can make this vinaigrette in a bowl. One of my little tricks. Give it a rough chop. Is to make it in a jar. Now, two advantages to this. One, you don't have to worry about, you know, slowly whisking in your olive oil in order to get it all emulsified. And two, if you happen to have leftovers, you just stick the whole jar in the refrigerator. You've got it for later. So there goes our garlic. No more. Okay, now shallot. Shallot, one of those really important ingredients when you're making a really kind of Frenchy vinaigrette. It's a super distinctive taste. You can't really substitute onion for shallot. It's, it's got the same bite that onion has, but it's also a little bit sweeter. So this is going to kind of mellow out that garlic tang. But we do want that garlic flavor to be really pronounced. That's why we're using a whole clove of garlic. So there goes shallot. Nice chop. Let's stick with half a shallot. All right. A little parsley. Rough chop it. Doesn't have to be beautiful. Into the jar. What's cool about keeping the parsley kind of rough like that, it's going to have a lot of texture and it's going to add a lot of color to our mushroom salad. So that's kind of a white looking salad. Now a little Dijon mustard. Okay, I'm going to go a two count on vinegar. One, two. A little salt. Pepper. And the olive oil going to four counts, so almost two to one. One, two, three, four. Lid on. I'm going to give it a shake. And we're going to dress these mushrooms, these plain button mushrooms, with this vinaigrette. And that's going to make this really nice kind of tangy, garlicky salad that's going to go really great with our gratin. When we come back, we're going to see how the whole thing comes together. <laughs> you
Why Nationwide? Nationwide is on your side. All day long, I watch over the health of my patient's mouths, but they also need protection at night when germs can flourish. Get the right protection at night with Crest Pro Health. It's the only all-in-one toothpaste that protects all these areas dentists check most, even while you sleep. For a healthier mouth that's cleaner in the morning. Protect your mouth right with Crest Pro Health at night. Also, try Crest Pro Health Rinse. Now what I'll do is just take that tomato and I'm going to chop it like this. Real easy to do with your chef's knife. Now remember our small saute pan, we still have our shallots caramelizing and those are just looking beautiful. She does this sometimes. Cooking like a Food Network Pro has never been easier or more fun. Introducing Food Network from cookware and bakeware to cutlery and tabletops. Just waiting for dessert. Suddenly you're cooking like never before. Food Network has arrived. Only a cold. Expect great things. They use it to shoot the game. They use it to broadcast the game. They use it to produce the game. The main man on the field today is Pink K. So why wouldn't you use it to watch the game? Steve Manning. Nice song. Let's get over a bit, will you? Nothing compares to a Sony Bravia HD TV because high definition is in our DNA. Anybody got any chips? I run a doggy daycare. Use your inside voice. Things can get a little hectic, not to mention messy. Mr. Jiggles. Thankfully, the Pro Heat 2X from Bissell is always there for me. It's got twice the brushes and twice the heat. It's the deep cleaner that gives me twice the clean. And Spot and the mailman really could be friends. Bissell, we mean clean. Log on now to foodnetwork.com slash next iron chef to watch exit interviews with the next iron chef competitors. Way to cook, baby! As well as extended iron chef profiles of each of the contestants. Let's cook. Watch the next iron chef tonight at 9, 8 central, only on Food Network. Starting November 7th, Let's Talk Turkey gives you countless recipes and Thanksgiving inspiration every night at 8. And it sounds good to me. Let's Talk Turkey, part of Seasons Eatings. Starting November 7th at 8, 7 central on Food Network. Welcome back. We're finishing up our homestyle brunch today, and we've got these lovely white button mushrooms that have been tossed with a garlic vinaigrette. It's going to go so good with our gratin, which is getting bubbly in the oven. And check out our freaky good apple tart. See, you can see why I call it freaky good. Look how pretty it is. And you've got these beautiful golden edges. This has been cooling. It's at room temperature. You could make it the day ahead. Fantastic end to this brunch. Now we've got that gratin. When I took the tart out, popped the oven up to the broiler, Okay, so you get beautiful bubbles, golden brown, crusty top with that melted cheese, making me hungry, so I'm ready to taste it. Here we go. First, I'm going to have a little mushroom salad. See how pretty that parsley is? It's a good accent of color because this is such a pale dish. And then you've got this gratin. Look at that cheese. Oh, yum. Got some baguette slices here for mopping up the sauce. Let's taste. It's going to be hot. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. This is better than going to Paris. Really? All you need to do is make this for, for brunch. The sauce is really creamy. The cheese is nutty. The ham is a really great counterpoint to those tender endives inside. I want to try the mushroom salad. Which is really great. It's bright and fresh after tasting that delicious gratin. Thanks for joining me. And remember, when you need a dash of inspiration, just come visit the Gourmet Next Door. See you next time.